The Global Campus of Human Rights is a network of more than 100 universities in all world regions and we are specialized in human rights education. We do eight master programs jointly in the different regions. But we feel as universities that are specialized in human rights, we have a particular social responsibility to also protect and support human rights defenders because human rights and human rights defenders are under attack. And in such a situation, we try whatever we can do with our limited financial resources uh, to, for instance, support Afghan students and scholars who, after the taking over of the Taliban in 2021, uh, were really threatened. Uh, also female judges, prosecutors, etc. We tried to help them to get out of Afghanistan and distributed them to the different universities, including the University of Deusto, uh, that hosted five Afghan students and scholars, um, in order to provide them with a safe space. Um, we also have a new project, it's called Reconceptualizing Exile, and that means that we have selected 10 fellows, so quite well-known human rights defenders, from many different countries, from China, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Iran, Egypt, Russia, the Ukraine, Nicaragua, um, Guatemala, Sri Lanka. Um, we selected them and we provide them really with a salary. Um, and again, they are coming because in their countries of origin, they are no longer able to work for LGB the LGBTI community, to work for women's rights, etc. So they are here and the idea is that they now should continue with their human rights work in exile. And we are bringing them together also in discussing with them what does it mean for you to be in exile. You are a filmmaker, for instance. You are an LGBTI activist from China. You are now in the Netherlands. How can you do your work and also doing research that we do together. And we want to bring them together with other well-known human rights defenders, environmental rights defenders, right livelihood as an alternative Nobel Peace Prize laureates, etc. Um, so there's quite a lot we do. Um, the Venice School on Human Rights Defenders for, for 13 years already, where we bring human rights defenders from all over the world together and providing them skills how to approach the United Nations human rights mechanisms, or uh, what can the European Union do for you, because that's what we do together with the European Parliament, with the Sakharov laureates. So it is becoming a bigger and bigger network where we simply feel we want to facilitate that human rights defenders have at least some opportunities with our assistance to work in the academic field uh, to continue their very, very important frontline human rights defenders work.